So hello and welcome to this tutorial and I would like to show you how you can uh, animate uh, something along the path uh, in the Adobe Animate. And right now I will show you what we will be doing today. Uh, so right now I am on the site uh, Freepig and I am going to provide you uh, this in the description and I am also going to provide you my Illustrator file. So you can go ahead and skip this Illustrator part, but basically I am going to download this and I will go with uh, free download. And uh, right now I will go to the place where I have saved this, so it is going to be uh, in here. And let me get rid of everything like so. So basically we are going to have a zip file like this and I'm going to right click and choose extract here. And this will give me the files and I will double click on this IE file. And it is going to open me this in the Illustrator with some missing fonts, but I will hit close because we are not going to be using text. And I'm going to create new document. So control N or file new. And I want to go with 800 by 800 and I want to have this as it is LGB color and this as it is. So I will hit create and now I will go in here I will click on the Sun and I'm going to get it uh, in here like uh, so and maybe I can scale it down with uh, shift and now I will go back in here and I will click on this B and I'm going to get it uh, in here like so and now what I want to do is uh, click on this layer one on these three lines uh, release to layer sequence and I'm going to drag it outside of the layer one like so and layer one is empty so I can delete it and now I'm going to save this and I will provide you this in the description and I will see you in Adobe Animate in few seconds. So right now I'm in the Adobe Animate and I have created the canvas which is 800 by 800 and it is HTML5 uh, document and I'm going to uh, go to the place where I have saved this of in the Illustrator folder and I'm going to drag this in here like so. And uh, I am just going to hit import. I am not going to change anything. It is good as it is. And uh, right now what we can do uh, is, uh, uh, first of all, I am going to name my layers. Uh, so this one is going to be sun. Uh, this one is going to be B. So like uh, this. And I am going to create a new layer. And I am going to call this layer to be guide. And I'm going to right click on this guide layer and I'm going to choose that I want this uh, layer to be guide like so and it is going to change the icon and I will click on the B and I'm going to convert it to the symbol so I can animate it. So I will go to the modify uh, convert to symbol or F8 and I can go ahead and call this to be B like so and I will hit OK. And now what I'm going to do is uh, I will drag the B like so. Uh, to the guide and I'm going to leave the mouse so it is going to be like this and now I will go to the guide layer and I'm going to get the pen tool I will have only the stroke option right now and I'm going to uh, draw uh, something like uh, something like this some kind of path so I'm going to do it like this and I will continue like so and maybe up to the sun like this and I'm going to uh, click my uh, selection tool and we are going to have something like this. And now what I want to do is I want to position uh, my B, the anchor point of the B like so, it is going to snap and then I'm going to extend the timeline so maybe I will go to the frame 100 and I'm going to click F5 or the right click and insert uh, frame and it is going to extend the timeline and uh, on the on the B layer I'm going to create new keyframe so F6 or the right click insert keyframe and I'm going to position the B uh, to the end of the path like so and I'm going to create a classic twin. Uh, so right now we are going to have uh, something like this uh, but this doesn't look good because the the B is oriented uh, wrongly. So I will go to, go to the pr first uh, frame and I'm going to hit Q or free transform tool and I'm going to rotate this uh, B like uh, so. Uh, but this doesn't solve anything. This uh, just uh, we have just rotated the B. But what I can do is go in here and go to the uh, go to the properties and there is this option orient to path and I'm going to click this and right now this is going to be oriented to the path like uh, so but uh, we still have one kind of issue and that's uh, we, we will have to adjust the rotation of the last keyframe so I'm going to I'm on the free transform tool and I'm going to rotate this uh, like uh, so and uh, right now if I zoom out a little bit I am going to have uh, something like this so the B is going like so and uh, like uh, like so. And now what I can do is I can go ahead 
and I can uh, double click on this uh, beam like so and I am going to try to get these uh, wings uh, so I will double click and uh, right now uh, I am going to be able to get the wing so I am in the scene 1, in the B, in the group and I will hit Control X and I will go back to the B, uh, B timeline and if I am going to hit Control V it is going to position me this in the wrong place so I will go back and I will go to the edit and I am going to choose uh, paste in place and it is going to paste me in, in here and I am going to do the same thing for this wing so I will double click uh, right now I can get it and I will hit Control X I will go back to the B and right now with the shortcut Control Shift V it is going to paste this in the place uh, now what I want to do is I want to click on the layer 1 it is going to select me everything or I can just select it like so it doesn't matter and I am going to right click and I am going to choose distribute to layers uh, right now we are going to have three layers and one of them is going to be the B and two of them are going to be these wings so I am going to position the B to the top and I am going to rename this to be B and the wings I do not need to rename them uh, but what I need to do with the wings is I need to convert them to the symbol so I will click on one of them and I'm going to click F8 and symbol 1 is fine and I will click on the second one F8 and symbol 2 is fine and now what I want to do is click on the on the wings with the Q I'm going to with the free transform tool I'm going to position the anchor point of this one in here and of this one in here uh, like uh, so and now I can go ahead and maybe extend the timeline to the frame 15 so F5 and on the wings uh, layers I can go maybe to the frame 4 and I am going to hit F6 and I am going to do something like uh, this and the same thing in here F6 and something like uh, this and then I am going to with uh, Alt uh, duplicate the initial keyframes so something like this and I am going to uh, click like so and choose create classic tree. And now I want to get rid of the additional frames, so right click and remove frames or shift F5. And basically right now we are going to have uh, this kind of uh, animation, it is going to be looping. And I will go back to the scene 1 and I am going to hit Ctrl Enter. And uh, right now we are going to uh, have something like, uh, something like this. And uh, this is going to be by default looping forever. Uh, one thing that I can do is uh, I can go ahead and uh, uh, click anywhere, go to the properties and change the stage color uh, to maybe something uh, like this, which isn't white, uh, like so. And now uh, if you want, you can go ahead to the B and select all of the keyframes like so, and then extend it like so to make it a little bit uh, slower. So I'm going to hit Ctrl Enter and we are going to have uh, something like something like this. Uh, but I will go back to the Adobe Animate because I preferred, I preferred when it was faster, so I will go Ctrl Z like so, and yeah, I'm going to hit Ctrl Enter, and this is what we are going to have. Uh, I'm not going to show you in this tutorial how you can export this uh, or anything like this. I I show the I show something like that uh, in almost all of the tutorials, but in this one I wanted to only show you something like this. Uh, so I, I hope that you have liked this video. If yes, hit the like. Maybe consider to subscribe if you are not subscribed yet. And uh, yeah, maybe I will see you in another tutorial. Thank you. Goodbye.